on mute. Shalom, 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 yes, Allah. Shalom. Yahweh Shah Braka Thumb. Hey, a Shah Shabbat to everybody that's in the comments, man. A Shah Shabbat to my brother, uh, Soldier Aharon, man. Diligent, diligent Shalom. brother, man. I'm praise. I'm praise. So, as, as y'all can see, as y'all can see, right, we got a new, we got a new, um, episode series for y'all, man. I, I, I think y'all gonna like this one, y'all. Matter of fact, I know y'all gonna like this one, man. It's called the pregame, right? And the pregame is set to get brothers, but also, you know, the women in the spirit of the Shabbat, the brothers in the mindset of going to camp, right? We got to go to camp, man. That's how we got to go out and teach the people. We got to go out. I was shy bid us to go out into the highways and byways and bid the people to the mission. So that's what we have to do by any means necessary, right? So this is episode one. This is episode one of the pregame, right? And we got and we got some special guests too. On the pregame, we're gonna have special guests maybe every episode, every other episode, depending on how it goes, right? Depending uh -huh. on uh the brothers we can get in contact with, right? Hey, so hey, some days you might just have some SOT brothers, right? Like always, right? But other days we're gonna have brothers, captains, leadership. Elders from different camps, right? To get you in the spirit and in the mindset of going to camp. Hey, and we even might have a sister on here one time just to break down, you know, a Shabbat. How how a sister should spend a Shabbat day, you know, she at the crib or something, right? We might throw that in there. So with the um, pregame, we're gonna have 12 episodes for y'all. 12 consecutive Sabbaths, right? With some special guests. And some Sabbaths, no special guests, and we're going to do this thing, man. We're going to get brothers and sisters in the mindset of just keeping this Shabbat day to the fullest, man. Doing it willingly, right? Because that's what, that's what it's about, man. It's about serving the Lord willingly, man. We don't right. want to just be doing this thing lackadaisical, going through the motions, right? On your Sabbath day, man, you don't want to be going through the motions, man. right? So th this, this, is, this, this show is going to prepare you and get you in the mindset, man. Of going to camp, sisters getting your house in order, getting ready, you know, either if it's sisters if it's reading to the kids or doing something with the kids or the family, you know what I'm saying? Right? On your Sabbath day. And brothers, we gotta go to camp, right? And let's get that in Luke. Uh, where your shot bid us to go to camp. Let's get that before we greet the people. Let's start with that. All right, what is that? Luke 14, I um, believe. Oh, yeah. okay, let me see. Uh, Luke 14, 23. Read that one. Okay. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 23. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. And, and who's the servant? Selakia. And who's the servant? Right? Who's the servant? Let's get that. Let's, no. go to, let's go to Leviticus real quick. Let's uh, get the servant. What I want? Leviticus, I think it's 26. Shooting from the hip. Might be 22. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me find it. Bear with me. Bear with me, real quick. Is it 25? It might be 25. 25 and 55. 25 and 55. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, and verse 55. For unto me, the, ch the children of Israel are servants. And so the children of Israel are the servants, man. Uh -huh. These are the servants of the Lord. So when Yahweh shall I say, he got, and the Lord said unto the servants, he's talking about the Israelites, man. Because it was given to us to go out and teach the people. It was given to us that had a prophecy and to teach the prophets. I mean, and teach the prophecies, right? It was only given uh -huh. to the children of Israel. So with understanding that, we, we know that we got to go out into these edges like, like the scripture read. Let's finish that out, all right? Uh, uh, back in uh, Luke, yeah, kind of. Go on. Come on. All right, this is, uh, once again, Luke 14 and verse 23. And the mm -hmm. Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be fulfilled. The Israelites of today have the most important job in the whole world, right? 
The Israelites today, I stand on that. The Israelites today, whether you a brother, a sister, or a child, you got the most important job in the world. Why do I say that? Why do you say that, Yaqua? Because it's your job, our job, whether it's shining our light for some of the sisters or the sisters teaching other women and the children, right? And the children being obedient or, right, the men going out, shining their light and teaching and filling the house of God. That's your job, bro. Mm -hmm. I think about that. Our job is to fill the house of God. Right? That's no small task. <laughs> that ain't no small task, right? right? That's a mighty task. So now we got to start taking this thing serious, man. Brothers that's in camps. Brothers that's deciding if they want to join a camp or not. Right? Brothers or sisters deciding if they want to be in this truth or not. Right? They might have heard it. The task of us, man, as the Israelites is to fill the house of God. And how did he say do it? To go into the highways, into the hedges, man. And compel the people. That means when we go to camp, it's our job to talk to people. Huh. It's 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 scoffer's job to scoff us. Yep. Make sure we studied in this thing. Huh. Right? You got some up? Khan, huh. Salakia. And if you and go if ahead. you look, if you that same chapter, if you um go down to verse 28, that's when he said, listen, you gotta count the cost. You gotta understand what this job description is. You know, just like when you apply for a regular job in the world, you read the description and realize you ask yourself, is this something I can do? Does my resume or my career goals align up with this? The same thing. Does your kingdom goals align up with this job? If mm -hmm. not, maybe you need to check your spirit. But if if it does, count the cost and understand what it takes. And you, you're you going to have to do more than just sit at home and do this work. Yeah. Because you got the most important job. I'll go right there. And hey, we'll actually, uh, read that scripture. Read that verse 28. Come, come verse 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sit it not down first and counted the cost? And that's what we got to do, man. Hey, like the brother just brought out, excuse me. We got to count the cost, man. Mm -hmm. You got to count. The, what you doing this for? You got to count the cost. Uh, hey, yeah, how was I said what? You're going to lose family, friends, loved ones. You got to count the cost. Uh, that's up in uh, verse 26. I'll just read 26 to talk. Say that. Go ahead. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Right. Hey, and, and, and a brother asked this question last night. I think, uh, brother JT, like saying, uh, How can you, how would I command you to hate your? your mother and your father but then in the ten commandments it says what uh, you gotta uh, 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 obey your parents huh. right right so and that's an easy breakdown what he's saying is you gotta put him first man huh. i think that that's exactly all it means is you gotta yeah go so ahead I, go ahead I, yeah i'm pretty sure that exact translation is not to hate but just esteem less mm -hmm. i think i don't want to brought that out that's right. it right. So you gotta all that means is you gotta be putting your Howard Shy first. Number one. And guess what? And putting your Howard Shy first, guess what? Guess what he said? Hey, the world hated me first, so of course it's gonna hate you. Right. So then you're gonna start to lose mother, father, brother, and sisters, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and and the guests that we're about to bring on the show, man, they they they, they wrote a powerful song, man. They said, What since I came in the truth, what? Hey, my people don't treat me the same. That's a fact. And that's exactly what happens when you come into this walk. Your people will stop treating you the same, man, because all you want to do is keep the commandments and follow Christ, right? Mm -hmm. But in that, hey, we got to count the cost and know the work that the that the Most High is expecting of us, man. So with no huh. further ado, let, let's let's greet our people in the chat real quick, right? We got um my beloved brother, Soldier Kahari, but lawyer in the building right we got prospect isaiah we got soldier west in the building shalom my we got uh my br my brother uh bc man uh we got said we got prospect trey Lindsay. we got maccabee's mindset that, hey, that's that's a mighty name that could be a show actually maccabee and mindset 
Huh? You know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? It, 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 the swords behind you, Ock. Huh? Right? And hey, we got Niner for life. All right, we're going to see what them 49 is going to do. We got uh, Lash LaShonda. We got uh, Josiah. We got Tony. We got Keith. We got Sister, Sister Natsaza. We got Ivory. We got uh, Amariah or Amaria, however you pronounce it, sis. Um, we got Yadiah in the building. We got Sanctuary. We got Ray. Hebrew daughter, Shalawam. West the poet. What's going on? We got um, Free Press, Shalawam. We got the princess in the building. We got Beverly. We got my beloved brother, Captain um, Israel in the building. Malak Ken, Shalawam. Divine Yah, Shalawam. On the Facebook, we got Israel Yah, Shalawam. Kanak, Shalawam. Hey, my beloved sister, Joanne Gilchrist. Shalawam, sis, what's going on? We got Dante. We got Trey Lindsay, man. Uh, let me see. We got Kenneth. Uh, let me see if I missed anybody. We got Keith Bradley on the Facebook. I'm just scrolling. We got Malachi. Captain Malachi, Shalom. Huh? We got Kalea in the building. We got Melo. We got Jos. Um, and then we got the last but not least, the most high, our safety in um Yazi. Hey, Shalom, Yazia. Shalom. Long time. Uh, mm -hmm. I ain't holla at you. It's been many moons, huh? Shalom, King. Right? So with no further ado, right? Y'all see the title of the lesson, the pregame, right? I'm gonna state it again to get brothers in the mindset of going to camp. And to get sisters in the mindset of keeping this Shabbat um, and all holiness, right? And, and and that's what it's about, man, is doing these commandments. That's what it's about. And then you see the title, By Any Means Necessary. Because that's the spirit we got to have when we walk in this walk. Shouldn't nothing be able to turn us to the left hand or to the right. It's by any means necessary we serve in the Lord, man. Right. Wow. So uh with that, I want to bring my guests in the building, man. I want to bring my guests in the building. Wow. Right. One second. Let me see. Hey, Shalom, you on mute. Right? Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, what's going on? Shalom, Shalom. Y'all about to y'all shabra the thong. Shalom, I can't. Hey, so, hey, kind of kind of praise. Huh. Hey, so we got a hey, Captain Kadash, man. Captain Kadash with L O Z, man. My beloved brother, man. We did some, we do some mighty work together out here in Fort wow. Myers, man. Fine, all crazy. I don't know if the other brothers is in here. Let me see if they if they ready. Um, if y'all right. can say some, Mike check, Mike check. And the brothers is here, man. Hey, the brothers is here, right? Hey, and and them brothers is on the way out here right now. And and the reason why I brought these these brothers on on the first show, right? Entitled it by any means necessary, is a lot of times people don't really get to see the intricate pieces of a camp or a congregation or the work brothers do as far as councils uh uh, uh traveling mm -hmm. uh mediating things right going to camp get being prepared to go to camp you know what you do from friday sundown to saturday sundown a lot of people don't see that you just see a youtube video that's all uh, people see. You just see the YouTube video, but you don't see the, the pieces that make all this come together and the dedication that brothers have. Hold on, let me get this banner out of here real quick. The dedication that these brothers have, that brothers have in general that go to camp, and not only brothers that go to camp, right? The brothers that may be individualized right now, right? And they may be teaching their families, right? So you don't know the mindset them brothers have as well as far as doing this work by any means necessary i right, give me um i want to get a scripture real quick i want to get a scripture real quick right give me um first chronicles Cap, how you doing cap come on i'm feeling good how y'all boys feeling man I'm feeling good man wow hey uh hey kyrama y'all hey, hey what is looking like how far y'all is i we're not, we're not too far away now. We are, um, what? Probably like, probably like 20, 20 minutes. Yeah, we are 25 minutes out. 20 minutes out, right? Hey, hey, real quick, Asher. Hey, how far is that drive? Hey, man, it is a, it is a two-hour drive, man. One way. One way. And, and how often do y'all do this, Ak? Every Shabbat, man. Every Shabbat. Shabbat. Hey, that's, that's the dedication. That's the dedication, man. Them brothers live two hours away. 
and they driving every Shabbat to come do this work here in Fort Myers because what the people need the work, man. Oh, praise. What you how I said? The laborers are few, man. It's not many of us. Hey, Cap, it's not many of us. I. The lucky. I'm right now. You say what up? So like I'm I'm there right now. I was about to pull that. Bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, Come on. This is the book of Matthews, chapter 9 and verse. I'll start at 37. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore right. the hey, real quick. Hey, and, and we rarely see any laborers out here. Right. Not saying there's no Israelites in Fort Myers, but it's not too many brothers that we see with fringes on. Right. Mm -hmm. Cap, how long y'all been out here, Cap? For about two years now. About two years. And if we ain't seen too many brothers with fringes, man. Right. But but a lot of people think uh, that that would deter us from doing this work, man. That And, and think, think about that. You got to think about that as you are going in the camp. You a camp leader. You a soldier in the camp. Me and these brothers, we've been doing the work in Fort Myers for about two years now. We haven't had an influx of brothers come into this thing. We haven't had an influx of sisters come into this thing, Cap. Right. But brothers ain't quit. Brothers right. are still taking that two-hour ride. For brothers that's in the camp, you got to question yourself, man. I mean, that's not in the camp, right? And you live maybe two hours away from Atlanta. Uh or two hours away from Alabama. Hey man, you could take that ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, soldier, y'all were all. I think uh, a, a captain, y'all were all so lucky. My bad. I, I think he used to drive almost four to five hours, twice uh -huh. a month in Cali. That's the dedication that brothers gotta have for this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Because the most I told us we gotta congregate at this uh, uh, with the brothers, man. We gotta come together. Read that scripture one more time while I find the scripture in uh, uh, Chronicles. Uh, then said he unto his disciples, mm -hmm. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Come on, pray ye therefore of the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth send forth uh laborers into his harvest. And that's what we need, man. That, that's what brothers come out here and pray for right. for the laborers. And so like for the laborers, go ahead, I and so we, we always looked at the Ottawan Palau, you know, the Lord's Prayer when Yahweh you know, told us, said, after this manner, pray ye. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we exalt that prayer. But this is another thing that the uh, that Yahweh Shai told you to pray for, more laborers. That's how important it is. So it, it, try to include this into your prayer. You know, some brothers pray three, six, seven, eight times a day. Include this in, into your prayer. And if you're not one of those laborers, if you know you're not giving uh, your, your true, sincere labor, that's a great place for you to start. Right. Hey, I'll praise. Hey, hey, so Cap, I got a quick question for you, Cap. Like, for the people, right? You know, because you started off, you know what I'm saying? Lee, uh, 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 LOZ, you know, Fort Myers, I mean, Fort Lauderdale General Area. That's where y'all headquarters is at, right? Right. Huh. And then you branched off. You said enough is enough. Not enough is enough, but hey, we got to do the work somewhere else, man. We, yeah. we got to branch off a little bit. Tell right. us the mindset of that, Cap, of like, why you wanted to go? Why you wanted to do that? Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this, right? It's, it's crazy how the most high works. Um, I had some stuff that I was trying to get situated out there, and I was gonna be out there for one Shabbat. Um, uh, that one Shabbat, I you know, I contacted the minister, Minister Shalomar Priestcon. I said, Hey, you mind if I hold Shabbat in uh Fort Myers this week? I'm gonna be up there, you know, I don't want to really miss the service, but I got some business I gotta attend to. And to make a very long story short. Um, that first Shabbat, about 15 to 20 people showed up, and mm. I was, really wasn't expecting that. Okay. So uh came back with the report back to Minister Shalomar and Priest Khan. They said, well, um, guess what, brother? Yeah, <laughs> 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 <Hey>, you out of there. Hey, right? hey, you out of there. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, it's uh, the rest is history. So we kind of built just off of that. It, it was really supposed to be off of one Shabbat day, Kind of holding it temporarily where the people could drive out who's in that area and it and it turned into something else so it, it's crazy how the most high work i just take it with gratitude i take it you know i respect the most high's authority and most high send me somewhere you got to do the work right so 
I mean, it, the mindset going into that, a lot of times when, when, you know, you're set up in these positions, it's like you always have this doubt in the back of your mind. It's like, am I really ready for this, right? Yeah. Am I really ready to be counseling and doing all these things for brothers and sisters and to kind of give myself as a li living sacrifice? And as far as the brothers coming up with me as well, I'm sure they had the same thought process. But, you know, I always feel like the most high is not going to put you in a position that he don't feel like you're ready for. And he's going to make you step up to the plate, which is what we had to do in Lee County. So, you know, we've been out there ever since. You know, we building the work. Uh, Captain Yaqua came out there. Hallelujah. Well, and I think everything just meshed, meshed together so well. I, I, I truly believe that was the most high's will. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've been pushing ever since. Hey, that's right. Uh, hey, hey, the elders told you, hey, man, hey, you the apostle to uh, <laughs> Fort Myers now, brother. Well, Lo, right. you turned to Fort Myers. You turned to Lee County, man. That's how it went, man. All praises, man. Hey, that's a beautiful right. story, too. You know, because right. I, I had a lot of brothers don't, we don't really talk about this, but I had the same similar emotion, man, when I left Atlanta. Like, damn, you got to right. go, go start your own thing, right? Right. You got ground up, right? Ground up. So it, it, contacting brothers, you know, emailing brothers, you know, and seeing which brothers want to be dedicated, you know. As of now, you know, the most high hasn't sent me any brothers, but hey, it, it's the patience, man. That don't yeah. that don't stop brothers from going out, right? Uh -huh. And that's that's what it, that's why I title it like this by any means necessary, because just because it's not going your way and you're not seeing what you want in the first two years, three years, four years, right? Mm -hmm. But hey, you still got to go out and teach the people, man, whether they hear. Or whether they forbear. You gotta do that thing willingly, man. Give me um second chronicles 34 12. All right. And, and before you bring that out, I'll bring out this point as well. I remember um, uh, you know, Minister Shalomon, um, Minister Moshe kind of bringing these stories out to us about how when they first started headquarters in, in Fort Lauderdale, I mean, they was doing, you know, they had classes in Shabbat services where it was just them teaching. Mm-hmm. Nobody was there and they had to do this for years and years and years until these souls started coming in. So I, I would say that it really takes diligence and consistency and then the discipline to, to kind of go out and do these things. Because, you know, even it's kind of like going to the gym. I think that's why a lot of people, they start going to the gym after like the first month. It's because you don't see those results. Yeah. Hard pushing past something when you're not seeing any return. Right. You're not seeing the results that you want. And I think this this truth is a living testament to if is, is this something you really want to do? You know, is this something that you truly built for? The most high is not going to give you these souls until you all ready for that. So that's all, that's all the brothers that's really just starting now, kind of, you know, branching off from your, from your main camps and things like that. So we always want to keep that in mind. That's right. Um, um, and Salaki, can can you uh, remind me out of one? How many people listen to Jeremiah? Not much. <laughs> Nobody listened to Jeremiah. Hey, hey, he Jeremiah. had Baruch on his side. He had Baruch. Nah, 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 he had a nah, couple nah. brothers maybe mingled in. Hey, but for the majority of Israel, nah, nah. Nah, they right. was throwing, they was throwing Baruch. I mean, they was throwing Jeremiah in the in in, in the sewer, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you about to say something? No, I was saying they just, they cast it behind their back. Like what we do is not it's not serious. That I. This is this is um this is life and death that we teach, man. And I, I don't think a lot of people understand that. Like, you know, we're trying to save lives for real. Like when we go into the sticks and the slums where people are trying to take your head off, this is a real thing. This is not a game. A lot of times people sit back on the YouTube and they kind of see us post our videos on the Shabbat or whatever the case might be. But being in them streets is a real thing. That's right. You got people that really want to take your life for you telling them that they're a king, that they're God, that you are God's chosen people. That we got to take care of our children, love your brother, love your sister, right? Build up your nation. And they say, well, I ain't trying to hear that. But you, I want you up out of here. And they did the same thing like the brother bringing out. Jeremiah, Zacharias, they did the same thing to the prophets before us. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but that's what it comes with, man. That's the territory it comes with. And it's almost, you got to be willing, willing to not only lose your life, you're right? And we don't want to see that for no brother, but that's what the scriptures teach. Right. And also for your brother, say, for the man that's standing right next to you. And for SOT, we have women out there. So for all the women that's out there, mm -hmm. right, you got to be, you got to know, that's a mind state of camp. Like when I talk to uh, Ottawa and Yahweh all, right, and the mindset he has for protecting those women out there, that's a serious job. Like the men that got posted by the women, 
Yo, you you got to be willing to risk your life for one of these sisters, man, and your wife that's out there possibly. Mm-hmm. So that's a heavy thing. So when you going out, then we gotta when when your house shot say, let's get that real quick. Let's pull the scripture. Let's pull the scripture. You gotta be willing to lose your life for a brother, man. Hey, I, I get it. I don't know that off the top, but I get it right quick. I get it. No really like um sacrifice. I know this. No, it's in Luke for sure. And, uh, oh, no, John 15, 13. No greater love than this, man. Mm-hmm. There's no greater love than this. Facts. You want to just read that one? John 15? Yeah, read that one. John 15, 13. Uh, all right. This is the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 13. Start at verse 12. Verse 12. This is my commandment, that you love one another. Mm-hmm. As I have loved you. Come on. Greater love had no man than this, mm-hmm. that a man laid down his life for his friends. And it's no greater love than that, man. Right. Now, how many people is going to camp thinking about that? Yo, I gotta, if it goes down, I gotta be willing to, you know, lay down my life. Not saying you gotta jump out there, ah, and you gotta initiate it, be great, but you gotta understand that, that that's a possibility in this walk, right? Mm-hmm. Because Yahweh Shah said, blessed are they that are what? Persecuted for righteousness sake. Mm-hmm. When men shall revile you and say all manner of things about you, man, the kingdom of heaven is prepared for you. So we got to understand that going in the camp with all these cap. How many brothers done said they, they got the scrap in the trunk? They got it in their back. They reaching. <laughs> Come on, man. Too, Too many times. Too many. <laughs> Same thing in Atlanta. Yeah. Right, this is a dangerous job we plan, but it's the most important job, and that's yeah. the care. See, I, a lot of people don't talk about the care that the Israelites have for their own nation, man. Right. The Israelites care about their people more than anybody because they're willing to risk their lives for for them for them to just keep the commandments of God to stop being uh-huh. an adulterer, stop killing, stop stealing, stop being a homosexual. That's what we about. The changing. Of our people, right? Okay. You got some cap? Anybody got some? All right, let me uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead, ahead Cap. Second Corinthians, real quick. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Let's bring it out. Um, this is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter eleven, and what verse? Start at verse um let's start at verse twenty-three. It's a little lengthy, but we'll we'll get through it. Uh, starting at verse twenty-three. Are there ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. Right. In labor. Go ahead. Okay. In labors more abundant. In stripes above measure. In prisons more frequent. In deaths often. Right. So you got Paul talking, right? He says, listen, are they ministers of Christ? He says, I am more. And then he starts talking, talking about the labors that he has to do for the teachings of Christ. Right. For the teachings of the Most High. Right. Read on. Of the Jews, five times received, I forty stripes save one. Right, so he he's getting torn down by the Jews, his own people. Right, keep reading. Thrice was I beaten with rods, once I was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, mm-hmm. a night and a day I have been in the deep. Right, keep reading. In journey often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers. In perils of my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils amongst false brethren. So these are the things that we have to deal with in the truth, right? That's right. Uh, that's right. right yeah. These are the exact things, right? We talk about even, you know, I'll give a quick story. I mean, going on this road, you know, two hours every Shabbat. We going up there two hours and we coming back two hours. Right. The brothers will tell you and, you know, chip in L.O.Z. Lee County if you got something to say, because I want the people to really understand what the dedication that this takes. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. You don't have flat tires, things, the car breaking down, yeah. like, got the van, van go, like all these things. We're, we're traveling through through two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. We got to talk to strangers to get our car up and running and things like that. People don't see these things behind the camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Paul is talking about these same things. It's in perils. It's in danger through the journeys I make, through the journeys we make to get to the people. It's all through the danger. 
We face danger from our own people. We face danger from our own enemies, right? It's like no safe place. The only person we have to, to rely on, the only uh, thing we have to rely on is the most high in the word that he's given us. That's right. You understand? Uh, keep Comment. reading on. Verse 27. So, so in weariness Go ahead, and painful. Uh, in, in oh, no, no. Um, no, I was going to say real quick, um, you know, like what you were saying about the people and stuff, you know, I, that's that's honestly our biggest motivation, man. Like, yeah. it's our people, you know, that we have to, that the reason why we do the two hour trip every Saturday, you know, for the last two years is because it's for the people, man. You know, it's bigger than us, you mm. know, you know, and that's, that's one of our biggest motivations as to why we do the things that we do and we go to the lengths that we go to is for our people. Because if we don't do it, no one's gonna do it. That's right. Hey, that's a fact. If we don't go out there, I, you might well close the book, man. It's over right. with. There's no righteousness coming out of our people if, if the Israelites go don't go out the camp, man. Mm -hmm. We the only people teaching the righteousness of the Bible. You could ask fifty pastors the righteousness of the Bible; they don't even know it, man. Oh no. Right. right. That goes into Psalms uh, ninety-four sixteen. Right. For me, against the evil doers, we gotta be the ones that's doing it. That's the right. nation of Israel, we're the ones that got to take the nation back. You understand? But, you know, to kind of, you know, uh, regurgitate what Paul is saying, he's saying that all of these things he endures for the truth, right? Keep reading on that. Verse 27. Right? Verse 27. In weariness, in painfulness, and mm -hmm. watchings often, in hunger and thirst, and fastings mm -hmm. often, in cold and nakedness. All right? And for Mars, it's 50 degrees right now. Hey, hold on, let's get it real quick. Hold on, let, let's pull it up, Cat. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Florida don't, Florida. Hey, hey, uh, Florida don't get cold, but hey, brothers got on jackets in the house. Right. It's only 50 degrees. Right? <laughs> hey, hold, on, hold on, let me pull it up that real out. quick. Hey, hey, that you, for us, man. hey uh, you know I'll be at camp with the winter coat on. I, I have it's too cold. <laughs> let me share my screen. Let's get the weather for the people real quick because it's right. something I want to implement too, right? Let me get the weather for the people. Fort Myers weather, right? Hey, it's 51 degrees, man. Uh -huh. 51 degrees. Hey, what time are we going to be at camp? <laughs> around what? around Every eight. Time? Yeah. So about 50. So it's going to drop. It's going to go up a little bit. One degree. But hey, later in the night, once once we start to wind camp down, it's going to be in the 40s, man. Uh -huh. Right. Hey, so hey, Paul said, hey, in the cold, I had to do this work in mm -hmm. season and out of season. Let's get Atlanta, though. I got Atlanta pulled up. Atlanta got 36. <laughs> I, can't, right? I, I can't do it. <laughs> it's 36 degrees in Atlanta right now. And the brothers got to go out there and do the work, man. Mm -hmm. Right? It don't matter. It, it don't matter if two people come and listen or 15. Brothers is going to be out there kicking doctrine. Right. Because that's what it's about, man. And the Lord, and it's crazy because when it seems like it's going to be nobody at camp, the Lord always sends somebody when they come every single time. Hey, look, hey, look Rob said it's 34 <sighs> in, 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 in uh New York, man. I I, I can't I don't want to do it. No. <laughs> Priest Sabak out there by himself right now holding camp. Hey, facts. <laughs> My brother said it's 44. Uh SOT Alabama said they got 44 in uh, uh in Montgomery. Right. And to add to your point, Cap, before you finish, hey, what, let's get that real quick. What your how was, Well, finish your point, and I want to get that with your Howard shot. Okay, come on, come on. You know, read verse 27 again. In weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, and fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Right, and we've been involved. As somebody that's involved in the camp or that's part of the teaching body, we've been we've seen everything that Paul is talking about. We've seen how many times brothers say, I'm, I'm hungry at camp, right? You thirsty at camp, mm -hmm. you in the cold. We got to watch the evilness of our people and hold our peace. Be cool about seeing yeah. wickedness, yeah. right? And weariness and painfulness. We've done things, right? Making this living sacrifice to, to be in the truth and actually teach our people, right? Everything we do in the truth is not convenient for us, but we still got to do it. That's right. Right? It's not always convenient to, to wake up early on the Shabbat day to prepare your class, to prepare the things and organize the things that need to be done today. It's not easy to do those classes in the middle of the week. 
It's not mm -hmm. easy to go to soldiers class and to edify and to do councils in the middle of the week. These things are not easy, man. This is it's a weary to your spirit. Right. But we got to be rejuvenated thinking about keeping the end goal in the mind. The end goal is to see my people, our people get up mm -hmm. out of this captivity and reign over this entire earth. That's right. That's the end goal. Right. So keep reading on that. Right? Verse 28. Besides those things that are without mm -hmm. that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. And who is the church? The people. That's right. The, the people. This is the, th these things are on our thoughts daily. What can we do to exercise and benefit our people? How can we elevate our people? What more can we do for the truth? What more can we, how, how can we elevate our teaching styles to captivate more people? All of these things are all, all about strategizing and bringing more people into the fold of the Most High. That's, That's right. what we do. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Right? Keep reading. Almost done on this. Huh. Who is weak? Mm -hmm. And I am not weak. Right? Who is offended? And I burn not. So you teaching the weak, but we weak too. Right? right? Right. It says, who was offended and I burn not. Right. These are all things that we 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 actually experience being in this truth. Keep reading. If I must need glory, I will glory of the things which concern mine infirmities. And if we need glory, we're going to glory in our infirmities. We're going to glory in the trials and tribulations right. that come with this truth. Right. That's what we glory in. Knowing that you know we, we had we had some issues coming up to, to Lee County this morning, right? But guess what? Made it work. Satan yeah. won't try to stop it. Trust me. Satan been busy for the last couple of weeks. Come I could on. that, but he's not gonna stop this word. We're gonna make it happen, Lord willing. Well, hey, that's all hey, Lord willing, huh? That's it. Hey, and the water sister for the generous donation, sis, man. Please come feast with us. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got the feast day calendar in the back next new moon. If you near the Atlanta area, sis, um, is on the 19th of this month. Um, so the water uh, sis for your generous donation. The water, the water. All right. Hey, that was a beautiful. Hey, that was a beautiful point. All right. Let's get uh Matthew 24. Let's get Matthew 24. Um, and let's just we get straight to the point. Let's get verse 20, right? Because we was talking about the cold weather. This is one of my favorite scriptures for the cold weather, man. Because I just can't do. It. I done seen zero degrees, <laughs> negative degrees, been in the snow. I can't do it. So you talking about, you know, that that wilderness coming again and the times of second edge was coming again. Woe is me. Right. Mm -hmm. In those days. Right. We're talking about that. But look what you always said. Read. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. It says imagine that, man. Because right, you in the A, right? Let me, I'm going to get a brother in the A an example. Imagine yeah. you got to get from the A. To Montgomery and meet them brothers, man. Don't you got to get there? Ain't no, there ain't no gas. The electric cars are shut down, right. right? And we got to get there as a congregation. <clears throat> Y'all got to think, think about that when, when, when that time come, them concentration camps in the wilderness, right? That second wilderness coming, and you got to go meet. You got to go meet your loved ones. You got to go find them. Go search them out. And it's dead winter in Atlanta. 34 degrees, let's go. Pack up, children, let's go. Mm -hmm. Right? This, this is a serious things we got to think about, man. Uh -huh. Hey, but through the spirit, the Lord says his servant shall eat, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. His servant mm -hmm. shall drink. So mm -hmm. in that day, I believe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will keep us warm in that day and give us the things we need. But hey, man, for the people that don't have it, yeah, man, we better hope the flight is not in the winter. Right. You're talking about crazy floods in California right now. You better hope that it ain't in that time or a hurricane coming. Mm -hmm. Right? We, we trying to flee concentration camps and a hurricane hit. We trying to flee concentration camps and it's 10 degrees outside. Cat, we got to get from, from uh, uh, Lee County to the Lauderdale. It's right. a long walk. It's a long walk, man. Uh -huh. Right? Hey, so brothers got to be equipped with that and have that mindset of, yo, uh, I know the Lord going to protect me, but listen. I, we might have to take these journeys, uh -huh. but as so the scripture says, "What was me? <laughs> what was me in that day?" <laughs> so, like you, uh, I wanted to pull Second uh, Timothy chapter four, verse two. Bring it out. <clears throat> um, 
It says, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. That's right. Re reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So you got to be ready for whatever. Be always ready to answer anyone that asks you. You yep. know why? Uh, uh, you know why you believe what you believe. Paraphrasing in uh, Peter. Hey, hey, give me that. Good, that's a good precept. Like, give me that Second Chronicles thirty-four and twelve. So I want to um, talk about some man. All right, I ain't gonna boast on the brothers, man, because every all the brothers got stories. All the different brothers we're gonna try to bring on this start, show. Um, every brother, every camp got a story, um, and it's not to be undermined. And I think I want on this show too. We want to acknowledge the brothers and the sisters as well for the dedication that they put in this thing, man. Does this thing take dedication? Huh? Read just the first part of that real quick. Huh? Con, this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 34, and verse 12. And the men did the work faithfully. Read that part one more time. And the men did the work faithfully. And the men did the work faithfully, man. Listen, man, I remember I was out here, right? The brothers had to drive up Friday night. So I, me and you on Friday class, the brothers is driving up, right? They driving up like 10 at night. They get here about 12 <laughs> a.m. at night. They go to the school, put their stuff down at the school. We just finished our class. Hey, it's time to go to camp. One in the morning, we at camp. Camp finished by what? Three cap? Three, three, three uh, Sometimes four, depending four. on what, right when we about to end. Hey. Then brothers leave and go to their school and go to sleep, man. That's dedication. We, we going to the school. Brothers got blow up mattresses in the school, man. Oh, <laughs> we stand right here because listen, the work gotta be done. Not saying you gotta go to be of that ex extreme, but you gotta be willing to take those measures, man. For your how about shim yow shot. Anything you want to say on that cap? Huh, no, nah, it's just crazy because, like, when you sit there kind of saying all, I'm just thinking about all the things we've encountered in the last year or two years. And it's like, it's a lot of things people just don't know. The people things, the things people just didn't see. Yeah. Like, even when you talk about drop, because you got to put this in a perspective. You got, we we all work full time jobs. We got family, we got things to take care of. So, Friday night, right, we get off of work about 5 36, right? We all got to meet up at the crib in Fort Lauderdale around nine or eight o'clock, nine o'clock. We on our way to Fort Myers. We get there about 12 o'clock, put our stuff down for 10 minutes. Then we at camp for the next four hours. Then not only that, and then, you know, maybe I was being a little too pushy on the brother. We would wake up the next morning at nine, 10 o'clock, hit camp In for two morning. hours. Then yes. we're going to do a Shabbat service. And then we go to camp until about 9 p.m. that next night on Saturday, right? It got to the point the elders had to pull us to the side and say, listen, brothers, yeah. And that's a, just a beautiful point, right? Because that just goes back to the dedication and commitment. Um, I wanted to bring out a precept. Uh, if I may. Con, if we can go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 15. Okay. Well, we brought up Con. I already know you added it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's, you know, being a laborer, man, that's, that's, that's no days off, really. Right, we have to see how much more we can put our uh, put put into the uh, uh, how much more work we can put for the Most High, right? Um, uh, the book of First Corinthians sixteen and fifteen, Bible Kusha. This is the book of First Corinthians chapter fifteen, uh, sixteen and verse fifteen. Con, I beseech you, brethren, you know of the house of Stephanus, that is the first fruits of Achaia, and that. They have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. That's right. We have addicted ourselves to the ministry of the saints, right? That's why we, we talked about going doing overtime. We see the brothers from Washington Rivers, so they doing that overtime, right? We got to right. make sure we, we continue to increase more and more in this thing, right? Because at the end of the day, this is the duty that we were commanded to do, right? Let me get the book of uh, uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 10, Baba Gusha, right? The book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 10. This is what the Most High commanded us to do as true servants of the Most High, right? The book, the book of Luke, Luke, chapter 17 and 10. Come on. It's the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 10. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Right. This is our duty, man. This is our occupation, our profession. That Paul talks about that good profession that we profess, 
right? This is our duty to do, to, to teach the word to our people, man, right? And make those sacrifices to wake up the children of Israel, man, right? And one last scripture, Acts 16 and 17, Baba Kusha, right? As the true servants of the Most High, this is the sacrifice that we have to make, right? Brothers love to see the videos. They want to, you know, come out to camp and teach, but brother, you got to understand, this is a sacrifice, man. That's right. Um, right. It's more than just videos and things like that. It's the sacrifice, studying, being diligent and consistent. Right. These are the things that truly set us apart as the children of Israel. And this is how we wake up our people, man. And right? Cap, even of, even uh, just the video department, Cap. Like right. The, bring it up. The, bring it even up, the man. production of the video. And that ain't it's, that's not a light job, man. It take time. To wow. take time, man. To get that right. Get the put the precepts at the bottom for brothers. Time. Right. That take time, man. But go ahead, you can read that for him. That's right. There's a book of Acts, chapter 16, and verse 17. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the most high God, which show us, I mean, yeah, which show unto us the way of salvation. Right. That's who we are, the servants of the most high mm. God. That's a good right? question. Brothers all across the globe teaching the word. We're the servants of the servants of the most high God. Right, that show unto us or the children of Israel the way into salvation. Right, that's our duty. That's what the Most High commanded us to do. Right, it's very important whether it's coming from the powerful, mighty brothers at SOT or from LOZ. Right, so we preach and they believed. Right, what one last scripture? Salah, uh, okay. First Corinthians fifteen and eleven. Yeah. Right, First Corinthians fifteen and eleven. Bro, right, fine, man. Hey, but, hey, but that's what happened when you get a lot of brothers on here, man. Like that. When <laughs> right, you get brothers on here, man, and that spirit move, that's what happened. Brothers, you get you get that zeal, man. Oh, man. This is what it's about, man. This is oh. what it's about. The unity of the brethren, man. The unity of the sisters. Really, the unity of Israel. Come. And so like it. That's that's why scripture say be continually with, with a godly man. Godly man, man. that's right. You know? Right. It's a power pellet, but here we go. Um, this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter fifteen, verse eleven. Son. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Right, and whether it was uh, the my, mighty brothers at Sons of Thunder or at Loz, so we preach, and the people believed. Right, so we preach, and the and the and the children of Israel um wake up. But we got to do this work by any means necessary, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause that's that, that's why you um, um Paul told us that we gotta present our bodies as that living sacrifice, right? We, this has to be our first love. Remember, um, me and Captain Yako was talking about it. We gotta get back in the lab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is our first love, but we can't forsake our first love. You see what I'm saying? For all praise to the Most High. Um, I yield on that. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, Lucky, can I get one real quick? Of course, yeah. You already know. Uh, this is the book of First Maccabees, chapter two and verse uh twenty. Excellent precept. That's the right precept. Go ahead. Read. I, I'm going to read it for you. First okay. Maccabees what? 2 and 20, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 2, you can start at verse 50. Verse 50. So my salak, yep. That's, now, salak, First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 50. Now, therefore, my sons, be zealous for the law mm -hmm. and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers, man. Yep. So like it, we're, gonna read, we're gonna read the next verse, but you see right there, you're supposed to be zealous for the law. Man, if you if you look at this, this is his last words. This is Mattathias' last words to call it his, his eulogy, if you want to, that he gave to his sons. He said, Listen, be zealous. And because you can uh refer back to David to Solomon and say, Listen, this is how you become a man. Call yourself a man, be strong, be zealous for the law. Why? Because this is your culture, this is your heritage, pursuing to I believe a uh, Sirach 17 11. You know, this this is who um this this is the covenant of our fathers. And if you ain't fighting and dying for this, what are you doing it for? Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh go ahead to the uh, next verse, Baba Kasha. Con call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So like it right there. So and then we know that the things written the fourth time was written why for our learning, right? And uh we know that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times, right? So right. we got to learn and understand what they went through and how we got we got cars. We we got we can call an Uber, go anywhere you want to go. And it's so much more convenient and easy now to push this truth than it was ever before. But you see these men putting their life on the line. We just read the account of the great mighty uh, Paul of all he had to go through. But brother, you don't want to do it. Why? Because your feet hurt. Yeah. Because your phone ain't charged. 
because it's an extra ten dollars in gas or something to go whatever your excuse is man that's not going to be uh adequate it's not really going to hold much weight in the balance in that day you know and um to prove that keep going so shall ye receive great honor in uh -huh. an everlasting name and an everlasting name man understand what you're doing it for now you can read the rest of that chapter and we talk about some notable men in israel but you can guarantee that when it's your time to go before the most high and he say well what you do you want them to make an opening for you you want you want it to be an entry uh entrance of pursuing to uh to peter made for you and so so yahweh shai can say you know what look at what my soldier did look at what my servant did you don't you don't want to have be a name that nobody knows in, in Israel, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, the goal is to be part of the 144, right? It's great being one of the one thirds for sure. I'll, I'll be happy, but you should be striving to, to be part of the 144, not just okay with, hey, you know what? I mean, I have a prominent name, but I'm there, which is great, but you, you gotta go harder. That's right. Oh, and, and, and that's what and that's what I don't want y'all always teach man being one percent better every day man. Mm -hmm. That means that just means you is better than what you was yesterday, and you going forward. Because mm -hmm. there's really, if you think about the truth to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, brothers, there is no neutral in this walk. You either going forward in this walk, or you taking steps backwards. Ain't no chilling. I ain't studying right now. As soon as you say I ain't studying for a week, you just took steps it's over backwards. You wasn't <laughs> Come. There's no neutral in this walk, right? So we got to continue to strive. And hey, let's get that set right for 28. Strive for truth until death, man. I got you, Cap. Go ahead. Bring it out. <clears throat> Come. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Most High shall fight for thee. And that's what it's about, wow. man. Striving for this thing until death, right? That's the importance of you, we, us going out to camp. Sisters holding down a household while the brothers go out, man. We need that. You know, do you know how sis, I don't the sisters don't understand how important it is, I can when I come home from camp, you at the door, you happy. Right. Y'all smell good, you smell good. That mm -hmm. is no better feeling than that. We, you got a movie ready for us to watch. Uh -huh. You asking how is camp, Lord, or whatever the case may be, right? <laughs> yeah. That that's what it's about, man. We we appreciate that, and and brothers, like, we might have got to do a better job of telling our real. We appreciate that more, right? We could do um, we could pick up on that. I'm a, I could say that, right? But at the same time, man, that's what that's what that's what's needed, man, right? Because us we we putting our lives on the line, man. Brothers have got shot at. Yeah. Brothers have got bottles thrown at them, knives pulled out. It's a possibility that brother can go to camp. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, this doesn't happen. We never hear about it, but not come home, man. So we got to cherish the work that we're doing. Take it serious, man. The work that we're doing, we can't take it lightly, man. And that's why we got to be doing this thing, like the title says, by any means necessary, man. Because mm. we have the most important job, man. I brought that, and that's why I brought these brothers on here, man. Because when I thought about any, I wanted by any means necessary. What brothers can I bring? I say, man, the brothers are, who I do the work with out here, man. Them brothers, they 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 do they do a lot of work. That brothers probably will forsake, right? Two hour drive, you know. That's your own cars and my, that's your own car and mileage. Matter of fact, the brothers went and bought a van. Like, hey, we need we can't keep doing our own. My cap, tell them cap. <laughs> that's a real thing, man. The miles, miles start adding up. Yeah. You know, you're putting the miles yeah. on, you putting the gas, you you got to think about all these things, tires, oil change, like all of these things come at a financial expense, right? And they, this is us putting up our bread to do this. This is not money that we're using from the people that's kind of giving to us for, for the for the school or the sanctuary. We're making that sacrifice and we're being dedicated to the level where it's like, okay, we'll take the hit here where we could build this on the other end of it. That's what it's you about. understand to come to like you know I, I think about many stories and i'm telling you we got stories for days uh, Ka uh captain Kyron, how how far do we have to push the car <laughs> <laughs> God, man how that was a couple miles out the car off the highway man right it was a team right of and then and then and cap and then we had the um uh then we you know long story short we had the uber driver that picked us up the man is sleeping while driving 
<laughs> I say, ah, so, we can drive. There's four brothers in here. We can drive for. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This man trying to smack himself in the face. I'm like, ah, you don't got to do that, man. <laughs> He's swerving yeah. off the road. Yeah, yeah, and y'all was y'all was a little choppy, Four in the but morning. <laughs> and y'all was a little choppy. So just to make sure everybody <laughs> caught that, cool. just to make sure everybody caught that, man. The brothers was on their way back after camp. It was like what ten at night, cap. It was later than that, dog. Later, later than that, one o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. One o'clock. So Ed caught a flat. You got to push the car one o'clock in the morning on I seventy five. Yeah. This is no, I, this a major highway. No street lights, sir. No street lights. Push <laughs> it to a gas. The way I went to a gas station, cap. Yeah. And then and call an Uber, and take an Uber two hours. That's that's even a lot of money. Right. But that's the dedication of doing it. Hey, hey, what? That that's hey, that's a shipwreck. Paul was talking about, huh? <laughs> that's a shipwreck. <laughs> We talk about the dangers, the perils with this the, the Uber driver falling asleep, man. Literally, he's he's going 10 miles per hour trying to get us back three, four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Right? It was through the mercy of the Lord that we made it back home that night. I'm telling you all. That's right. All right. So it, it's it's just real dedication that it takes to do that. and then go back out there the next week and do the same thing over again. Yeah. Hey, get the scripture for my brother Nathaniel, man. Uh second edger is seven and fifty-seven. <laughs> Right. This that is the condition of the battle, man. Uh -huh. That's right. That's the condition that I'm uh, excuse my language, but shit gonna happen. It's gonna happen when we when we go out there, when we try to serve the Lord to the best of our ability, Satan is in the midst trying to mess that up. You know how easy it could have been, yo. Y'all caught a flat. We had to push the car two miles. Uber costed a lot. This dude falling asleep. Yo, we done. Throw up the boots on the throw the boots on the street lights, man. It's over with. <laughs> <laughs> right, we done, right? Nah, but brothers ain't doing that, man. And I know brothers have other. You know, that that's just one story of that. That that's one story, man. It's a lot of intricate stories that brothers had that we're gonna try to get on this show to show people like this is what camp life is about, almost, man. Uh -huh. Right? Five, hey, I, t five points is something new every day. Yeah, it's wild up there. We done came to camp one time out, and the demons was waiting on us. It was. <laughs> It's no, they was right there at the spot waiting, screaming, mm -hmm. already yelling. Mm -hmm. right. right. I know Malachi, when we had one brother had a wrench in his hand and just bring, 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 bring all day, yes, all sir. day, Cap. For at least two, two or three hours, he was just bring, bring while we teaching, bring, just making noises. Then follow us, all the demons follow you all the way to the car. Mm. <laughs> Brothers leaving camp. Brothers' windows getting bust. Still in stole Bible and camera. Like yeah. th these is the these is the travails we gotta go through when you when you say you want to serve the Lord. This is what's gonna happen, man. And then your family, your loved ones, man. But this is this is this is like the reward you kind of get, right? Because we, oh. we can get that too, because Christ had to go through much more, man. And he did it, he ain't he was fit for it. So we gotta have the same mindset of, of, of our big brother. We gotta be fit for this thing. It's, it's, know, like the other one. it's better, kind of. It, it's huh. better that we know it's coming. Like we we know the Jehovah shot set it up. Hey, listen, this is gonna happen. It happened to me. This is definitely gonna happen to you, right? This is definitely gonna happen to you. So you already know in your mind it's gonna happen. So you gotta be prepared for it. And when it happened, you gotta say, "But I don't want to tell me that that's Satan." Mm. That's Satan. I ain't gonna let Satan get me out of the spirit. Hey, we about to push this goddamn car with joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? We about to push this car with joy because that's Satan, man. And that's how you joy in a tribulation. Sis, when sis, when that Edomite boss getting on you at your job, and hey, take it with joy. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, because I think our sister's gonna have some cruel, some cruel, cruel things. It, it, Doing that uh, when your house, I come back for for these eating. Our sister's gonna be the cruelest man. I'm telling you right now, they ain't gonna have no slack on the slaves. I'm telling you, right? Uh, so you gotta take it with joy, man. We gotta know how to take. I, right, you know what? I'm, let me. I, you know, I could cuss your ass out right now, but I'm gonna chill. I'm much. I ain't gonna yes sir you like the other sisters in here. But I'm gonna do my job. I'm gonna get it done. You know, I'm, I'm gonna come on a Sabbath class or whatever the sisters. That's why I want to bring a sister on here, maybe. So they could tell us about their trials, you know, in this walk, man. Because we won't get to hear that, man. And that's how we become more family oriented in this thing, man. Because this truth is about family. Come. It ain't L O Z going to the kingdom, no. 
It ain't S O T. Right. You know, it ain't W. It's, right. it's the Israelites going as a unit, right? As a unit, we going. So we gotta start acting and having that mindset of solidarity, man. So read that for me real quick. Uh, second, uh, uh, I know Kyron, you got some cap. Huh. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, and verse fifty-seven. What it say? Then answered he me and said, "This is the condition of the battle. This is the condition of the battle, man. See the battlement swords the brother got behind him. This is the condition of the battle, man. Everything we go through in this truth, that's the condition of the battle. But you gotta know how to either." And what would they say? Pressure bust pipes or either make a dime. Man. So you got to know how to be from your trials and tribulation, from the conditions, you got to know how to come out as a refined, like, like the scriptures call it, refined gold, man, and not be broken and given over to Satan and wither, right? Being tossed to and fro. Read it from the top again. Huh? Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle. Come on. Which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. And this, and then we got to fight, man. Every day, man. Every day, it was. It's a fight. Hey, the sister Mina Israel said, "I was attacked while fasting, man. <laughs> I was attacked by fasting. Man. I'm sorry. I, I would love to hear that story, man. You know what I'm saying? That's heavy, right? Uh, Karam, you got some out? Con King. Um, and some of the brothers, the LOZ brothers, is backstage. Um, they wanted to um see if you could bring them up. Okay, Con, I see right here. Con. And I had just one scripture, um, uh, First Thessalonians 2 and 18. You know, because like you were saying, it, it, it could have, that could have, you know, that 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 night where the car broke down and everything, that could have easily took brothers out the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, they, them brothers, that next Friday, I don't know if I can make it to camp. Uh, I don't know about Shabbat this week. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy for a brother to fall out. You know, for a simple inconvenience, you know, but like the scripture said in First Thessalonians, right? Satan, Satan gonna hinder us sometimes, right? Uh, you could bring that up, Bubba Kusha. Come, um, this is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter two and verse eighteen. Come, wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Right, mm. it says, but Satan hindered us. That's right. right. There's gonna be times where Satan is gonna hinder you. Right when you need to take that, uh, that uh, get that week off for Feast of Tabernacles, right? If you need that new moon off, right? Say it's gonna say, No, you gotta work, right? right? Whatever the case may be, we have to be prepared for these things, you know what I'm saying? Come, huh. why you don't know? All right, priest, uh, let me get uh, Isaiah chapter 49, I believe it's verse six. Okay, okay. Isaiah 49 and six. Uh. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to rise up the tribes of Jacob. All right. So the most I saying, hey, all these trials and tribulations, they say this is a light thing, man. It's a light thing to go against the children of Israel, the rebellious house, the stiff necked and impudent children. This is a light thing, a light task that I have burdened you with. Right. Keep reading Come and to restore the preserved of Israel to restore them, right? So we always got to keep that in the back of our mind. Like what we going through, the car breaking down, right? Issues going on amongst the brethren, amongst the body, right? Things that's going on in the nation of Israel, things going on outside of the nation, right? Mm -hmm. He said all of these things that we go through, this is a light thing, man. Right. And it goes back to tie into what everything, everything that we're saying. It's like we got to keep the end goal in mind. Our end goal is to raise up the 12 tribes so we could get the heck up out of here. That's right. Because I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of this captivity. Facts. Been right? tired. Like yeah. Tired of working like this. I'm tired of all these bills. Tired of my people moving the way they move. All right. It, it's it's sickening. You know, we shouldn't be living like this. But the most High said, because we broke his commandments, these are the reasons we go through the things we go through. Mm, all right? right. So we got to keep that in mind at all times, man. You know? You got something? You got some, Maharan? Khan, this is the book of First Peter, chapter 2, and uh, I'll start at 19. Mm -hmm. And it reads, 
For this is thankworthy if a man for conscience towards God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. Yeah. You want to break it down? You want me to? No, you can break it down now. You got it. All right. So listen, consider it an opportunity. Say thank you for the opportunity to show your grit to the most high. That's to right. show, hey, you put me in and I perform. You know, consider it an, an opportunity to, to really prove yourself, right? Because a lot of times if you're sitting down, you don't have a, 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 a um, an opportunity to do that. Everybody hard until they get punched in the mouth. Mm, that's right. But you get to say, no, I got punched and I got down. And I did that and I proved myself. So you consider it, consider it a, a, a thankworthy thing, right? I'm going to keep going. For what glory is it if when ye were buffeted for your faults, you should take it patiently. That's right. But it, but if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently. This is acceptable with God. You, you know. So if you get and beat up for or you know chastised for something you deserve, and went through it and say, well, you know, God, you know, I was <clears> saying <throat> you got me and I didn't die. So no, that's not something. That's not something that's acceptable to the Most High. Yeah. Understand like you understand that Yahweh was first persecuted. So if you are then persecuted for his sake, who team you on? I mean, it's kind of the proof is in the pudding at that point, right? Oh, that's right. Huh? And you know, I read, I read chapter read chapter of uh, first Peter chapter four, verse one. Come on, this is first Peter four and one. For as much then as Christ had suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So we got to know that suffering coming, whether it's at camp, with your rib, with the brethren, at your job, right? Car, it, whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be, you got to know that the suffering is coming because your how is shy suffer, man. Right. And if we serve and say, yeah, how is shy, we got to go through that same thing. Cause right. all all the prophets look when you look at the prophets, all the prophets were suffering, man. They didn't have it easy. Even the been even before David rose to power, he didn't have it easy. Right. Right. Everybody was suffering. Everybody had a hard road when they were serving Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Read verse uh twelve in that. Huh? Um, First Peter four yeah. and verse twelve. Yep. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trail. Trial, or trial, trial mm -hmm. which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Right, so strange things is gonna happen unto us, man. But don't think it, don't think it's strange, don't don't count yourself out, right? Right, keep going. But rejoice, but and what but rejoice. It's one of the hardest lessons I think to teach, Cap. To yeah, know how to rejoice when yeah. everything going wrong. That's hard to teach a brother, man. Mm -hmm. But that's the spirit we got to start having. Not saying you can't have compassion, empathy, sympathy for a brother or sister that's going through something. But the end of that conversation, it almost got to be like, yo, ah, yo, sis. Hey, but you got to say all praises. You're going through this, man. You got to. It hurt. You've been crying. You've been moping around. But you got to say all praises. You're going through this. Because the most I said, who he loved, he chastised. So right. the chastisement is coming straight out of love, man. So we got to know how to look at it like that. And it'd it be a hard and plain view. But when you sit back and start, it is, it is hard. So it's a fact. Right. But when you when you when you start to think about it, it's like, man, the, the most high. Like I, I always ask for this question when they're going through something. When has the most high brought you through something and then get you out just the way you needed to get out? Name a time. Just tell me a time where the most high ain't never looked out. Mm -hmm. It don't exist, man. So it's just about getting out of it. And that's why it's important to be doing this thing by any means necessary because it's so much stuff that happened to brothers in this truth and it's easy to quit. It's easy to quit this truth, man. Right? It's easy to quit this truth, but you got to endure this thing to the end. You got to be 10 toes down in your house shot. Yeah. Keep going. Man. You can read it from the top again, verse, 12, uh, verse 13. Verse, verse 13. But rejoice, and as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be uh, uh, revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. All right, so when his glory come, you'll be glad in that day because what? You suffer like Christ. You uh -huh. went through some of the things that Yahweh Shai went through. 
He's the faithful guy, Arias said, Captain Arias, man. That's right. The one and true, only faithful Yahweh, man. That's it. Very merciful, man. But we got to be diligent in this thing, man. Diligent, consistency, and discipline. We was talking about that last night, man. You get on hard times, man. Lean on the Lord. Lean on a brother or a sister and lean on the Lord, man. That's what this thing is about, man. Right? And to add on to what you're saying, Cap, it's like I, I honestly use that as one of the introduction lessons when somebody's first coming into this truth. Because I think a lot of people get it twisted. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to serve the Lord in truth and sincerity now. Not everything going to be good. Right. I'm going to be good now. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when you read Sirach chapter two, and verse, uh, chapter two, period, that, that's a real that's a real chapter. That's a real thing. People don't understand. Like, you got to go through that to understand what Sirach chapter two is talking about. Mm -hmm. Right. Talking about that furnace, of, furnace of adversity, you know, right. being happy when you're changed to that lower state, rejoicing when the adversity comes in your life. Right. Because it will come. If, if you serve in the Lord, that adversity will come. Right. It's like it's, it's, like, it's already on its way. As soon as you say I want to serve you, it's on its way. I very quick. <laughs> quick. Be careful. You're going to be like, man, I never went through these things when I was out in the world. But as soon as I come to serve the Lord. Not everything going bad. Mm -hmm. That's a real thing. Uh -huh. you understand? So we got to make sure we understand what it is and who it is that we're actually serving. Mm -hmm. The most high told us to prove our friends. The most high can prove us as well. That's a fact. All of this is about proving and cleaning ourselves. You know, putting us through that fiery furnace, getting rid of the pollutions. That's right. Making it pure gold. All right. So we always got to keep that in mind. That's the that's one of the hardest things to do too, man. Right. right? When your car just got total, it's hard to smile that you just lost twenty five thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. You say be happy about it. It's like yeah. getting a whooping and, and your parents say, "Now smile." Yeah. <laughs> right. That's, that's, right. The same concept. All right. That's the exact same concept. I got a precept. If y'all wanted to bring something up. Now, bring it out. Uh, uh, Romans chapter 12. Oh, yeah, I'm right here. I'm already here. Uh, let's get that. Romans 12 and 1. <laughs> this is the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, uh -huh. by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So when we in this truth, we present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Sacrificing our body, sacrificing our mind, Right. You know, we just talked about in Second Corinthians chapter 11, when it talks about that painfulness, that weariness, we are literally sacrificing ourselves. It's not easy. It's not it's not a convenient thing, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. but it's it's us sacrificing our time. Time is one of the biggest things you could give somebody or something because you can't get time back. You are right. investing your time and your energy into this. That's what you call a living sacrifice, knowing that you've been working for the last 50, 60 hours straight. Mm -hmm. Right. Knowing that you don't work 14 days straight, you still got to go to Shabbat. You still got to teach the class. You still got to counsel. You got to still look out for this brother. This sister's asking you for something. Yeah. Right? And then you're trying to take care of your household on the top of that. All right? This is literally what you call being that living sacrifice. All right? And the, and the conditions are not always, um, are, are always pleasant. You know, Paul talked about being a prisoner to Christ. Being a prisoner to the law, statutes, and commandments. People don't understand what that is until you come to this truth. So I always tell brothers and sisters, be careful what you ask for. You ask for these positions. You ask for to be raised up and exalted in these congregations. Be careful what you ask for. It's not okay, a... You get, the, you get the greater condemnation, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. It comes with more weight to it. You understand? So... We all we got to keep all these things in mind as we continue to grow in this truth, man. This thing mm -hmm. is not, um, it's not all glitz and glamour. Yeah. Right. Not mm -hmm. all glitz and glamour. Right. So with that, I yield. Uh. You want me to keep going on that? Or are you done with that one? Uh, is more on that? Just a little bit more. Let me know. I'm gonna read it from the top again. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy. Mm -hmm acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service that's our reason service holy meaning separate mm -hmm. right we want to be separated unto the most high given our time given our energy given our mind given our thoughts 
All right. This is not just the when we come to the Shabbat, we're gonna be Israelites. We gotta yeah. be Israelites all throughout the week. Mm -hmm. okay. Joshua, uh, real quick, chapter one. Uh, Joshua one and eight. Yeah. Come seven. on, I'm there right there. All right, let's get it. Just the book of Joshua, chapter one and verse seven. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which right. Moses. Come on, just to add on, so we want to be strong and be courageous, not weak. You know, we are counted weak when we faint from the things that come to us in this truth. And when I say faint, that means, you know what, I'm going to go back into the world, right? This is too much. Keeping the Shabbat day, this is too much for me. Mm -hmm. doing, doing my hour lessons or reading the scriptures, this is too much. I'd rather just be outside and be all willy-nilly, free spirit. Yeah. Right? We want to be strong and not faint. We can't be weak in this truth. All right, keep reading up. Come. Uh, I'll start at the top. Only Come. be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do uh, according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. That thou mayest prosper whither whithersoever thou goest. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Right. So it says you gotta meditate day and night. That's an everyday thing. That's an every night thing, not just on Shabbat day, not just when the clash is going on. You should be thinking about scriptures at your job. You know, you're taking a shower, thinking about scriptures. You're washing your car, thinking about scriptures. Watering your grass, thinking about scriptures. Mm -hmm. Right? We want to meditate. This is how you get wisdom, too, man. When you meditate on Proverbs and Sirach, right, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, right? This is how you get wisdom. You got to meditate on these things. That's right. Right? Wisdom is pro properly applying the law, statutes, and commandments, knowing what to apply and when to apply it at the right time. And that only comes from studying, not knowing when to apply it. Exactly. Come on. Come on. So, you know, we always want to, th that's what we strive for, man. That's what we want to push for. In the all right. Let's get and a few minutes. I got, I got, I got, actually, I just got one more. I want to end with this. And if brothers want to, got any other precepts, we definitely could bring it out. But let's go to uh, Second Timothy real quick. No, First Timothy 4 and 5. First Timothy chapter four and verse five. It's like your second Timothy, my bad. I was right the first time. Book of second Timothy chapter four and verse five. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do what? Endure afflictions. So we gotta endure these afflictions, like the brother was just bringing out. Read. Do the work of an evangelist. Read that part one more time, my. Do the work of an evangelist. And that's by any means necessary. You got to be willing to do the work. The work. I mean, you got to get up off your behind, brothers, and let's go to camp, man. Right. For brothers that got camp at three or brothers going to camp tonight, brothers got camp this evening, brothers had camp in the morning, or even if you a brother that's not in the camp yet, and you're like, man, you, 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 Trying to weigh out, weigh the, weigh the balance in what camp you want to join. Hey, find the one that fits your spirit and let's get the camp, man. Because the we it's not enough laborers out here, and that not laborers as in you got to be a teacher. Hey, we need readers. Mm. We definitely need readers. We need a great cameraman, right? Actually, we got a great cameraman, but we need brothers need cameramans. You know what I'm saying? Like brothers need cameramans. Brothers need people in the back end that's good with organizing, right? We need sisters help. That could do the cooking and can help organize and decorate and got the ideas. Mm -hmm. This is what we need. So, sis, that's how you do the work as well. Sisters, you know we got Passover coming up. Be thinking. Be looking for a nice place that ain't that expensive. Right? Mm -hmm. Be thinking of colors brothers can wear. A color pattern that we ain't got yet. You know what I'm saying? You know, sisters, y'all can get involved too. But, hey, man, we got to do the work as an evangelist, man. That means mm -hmm. all the time we got to be doing it. Hey, look, he's somebody to watch the children. That's a part of the work, too. Hand out flyers. That's a part of the work. Them fly missions be heavy. Fly missions be heavy because it's more intimate, one-on-one. -on -one. 
right? Getting into the scriptures where you think some they think they know, and then you go into the scripture, that's not what they read, right? But but planting that seed, that's what it's about. And the only way you're gonna plant the seed is if you're doing the work, man. Read that last part. Do the work. Come. Huh. I'll start at the top again just to get the full thing. But yeah. watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make foolproof of thy ministry. And we got to make foolproof of this ministry, man. What ministry? The ministry of Yahweh by Shimi Because wow. even though we all in separate camps, this is Yahweh. It's really Yahweh Shai camp ordained all by Yahweh, right? At the sitting at the top. But we all in Yahweh Shai camp, right? Through the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure we foolproof this ministry. We make sure we got to, and we got to do the work. Brothers, sisters, and the children by any means necessary, man. Right? So that's all I got. You got anything, uh, Cap? <clears throat> all right. Uh, um, you know, I just want to commend, you know, the brothers from SOT. I want to commend the brothers that are scattered abroad, you know, the sisters that continue to do this work, uh, the children that continue to obey their parents in the Lord, the elders who have led the way. Right? You know, I love all of y'all that are scattered abroad doing this work, man. Like, right. it's really a blessing to have a family, to know that we as a nation of people want to see our people do better and actually elevate. So, you know, to each and every one of y'all, I commend y'all. Y'all brothers doing some mighty work up in Atlanta across the earth right now. And oh, you know, the water. pushing forward um, as a body. So I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, let me, hold on, let me plug y'all real quick, man. Let me plug, let me plug the channel. Let me plug the brothers real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you get in there, Aaron. Let me plug it. So, you know, we got 90 some people on here, right? If you haven't done so already, can y'all see the screen? Make sure y'all crazy. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, to the brothers' channel, man. Got me teaching a few. Also, uh, hey, let's plug this. Let's plug this show far loud as well. <clears throat> Mighty music, truth. If you need truth music, man, <laughs> you feel like I need some new truth music, and you ain't subscribed to the show far loud. Subscribe to the show far loud, man. Beautiful music. And that, and Beautiful. as we sitting on that, listen, we got some, we got some fire that we yeah. just. Waiting in the cut. We just trying to get everything right on the back end of that. But listen, we got some new music. We've been gearing up. We've been having some meetings um, throughout the week, trying to get our music right, our beats, our production, our you know our producer, cameraman, all of this stuff. We're trying to get everybody in the right position before we start pushing out this music heavy. So you know, everybody want to get on board. Show far loud. I'm telling you, we got some bangers. I'm not just saying that because I'm a part of Show Far Loud. I'm telling you the truth. Right, fire right here. We got some man, trust me. Yeah, hey, um, sister singing and everything, man. We got the sister Hava, you know, you know, blowing blowing the ears off, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying so make sure you subscribe to the show. Hey, you see SOT in the cut right there. Though. You see that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, crazy though, man. Make sure you make sure you subscribe to the brothers' channel and their um and their music channel, man. All praises. You got some of Haran. Khan, I just got two quick ones. Uh, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Um, uh, Salakia, verse 9. Galatians 6 and 9. I'll read it for you. Uh, <clears throat> this is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. So you see right there, and we know that this is a good work. Don't weary. It's going to get hard. It's, you're going to go through all these trials. Listen, do not weary. You understand that's self-explanatory because you know me i'll just keep going but <laughs> <laughs> keep reading for in due season we shall reap if we faint not listen e listen either the bible is fake or you need to keep going because if it's real you know what's coming at the end of the tunnel if you keep on going that's so right. if you choose this walk man keep going now we don't got the time right now but Read 2 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 12 through 16, and oh, yeah. another time, and understand that these things written in this book is not meant for the chastening, but for enduring. And we just got to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And then another power pellet, if you still ain't convinced that you need to go harder and do the work, I got one last one for you. This is the book yeah. of James, chapter 5, and I'm going to read 19 and 20. I'll read it for you. Okay. James 5, verse 19. Yeah. Brethren. If any of you do error from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way 
shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. So you see right there, when, when you save somebody and convert them and you do this work and you actually bring forth fruit, not only are you saving a soul from death, but you are hiding a multitude of your own sins. Mm -hmm. You're covering yourself. So if you want to do it for a selfish reason, go harder. Whatever you got to do, just go harder, man, and do not faint because it's, it's coming. You know? Crazy. You? Beautiful precepts, man. So with that, man, I just want to say the water to the brothers, you know, LOZ for coming in. The first lesson of the pregame, man, by any means, ne uh, any means necessary, episode one. You know, uh, the water. Um, I love doing the work with you, brothers, man. Um, see our brothers later today, obviously, right? But um, let's let's just keep doing this thing by any means necessary. And that's to all Israel, man. By any means necessary, man. So I know y'all got class, man. I'm gonna uh, let y'all sign off. And uh, Aharon might do a few questions, and uh, I see some precepts by the, some of the captains. So right, throw right, some right. of them in there. Shalom, Akim. Shalom, 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 Shalom. Appreciate y'all, brothers, man. All praises. Shalom. 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 Hey, all praises to them brothers, man. All praises, right? Yeah. Hey, and that's what the pregame is gonna be about, man. Get Hebrews six and ten for Captain Wright. That's what the, the pregame is gonna be about, man. Bringing the brothers on here, man, and allowing brothers to give their slight testimony of why you gotta do this work, man, or a sister on how she get through it, man. Right? We gotta be in that mindset. We got twelve lessons for y'all. You know, Lord willing, it's a little bit shorter, but hey. The most high had the spirit moving to where you know what I'm saying the brothers was on for longer than I expected, but hey, that's what the most high wanted, so that's what it was. And I and I definitely appreciate the brothers' time, right? But you know what I'm saying? You know, we want to have brothers on, you know, and get into some quick QA 12, 12 weeks straight, you know what I'm saying? And then we might have you know a new series or something else coming for y'all. So stay tuned, you know, for the new, the new things SOT got moving in the spirit, right? So let's read that for Captain uh right. Come, it's the book of Hebrews, chapter 6 and verse 10. That's a good precept. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work. Hey, and, and it says the most high is not unrighteous. So everything you're doing with, with your full strength, man, the most high is not unrighteous to forget that work. He appreciate that. Read on. And labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name. And you showed that labor. You showed that, in, that enduring affliction in his name. Read. And that he have ministered to the saints and do minister. And that we minister to the saints and do minister. And that's what that's the mindset y'all gotta be in right now. That right now in the pregame, if you tuned into the pregame and you go to camp, you do fly minutes, uh, do fly missions, right? You about to teach a class on YouTube, right? Make sure you're putting all your effort into it, man. When you, if you a reader, make sure you're putting all your effort into it. If you hold post, make sure you doing that seriously sisters if you come in the camp or you watching the lesson make sure you taking notes make sure you tuned in at least if you can't take the notes right make sure you meditating on, on these things but we got to continue to do minister that means we got to do it the action that's an action word we must go out and do it we, we got to accomplish it man right so we got to stay in that spirit and that mindset of as the day starts to wind down we got to start to get in that that mindset let's go it's go time when you go to camp, it's really go time because you got to wake up the people of Israel. And you had the most important. You was you was tagged or coined with the most important job in the world, man. It's to wake up the twelve tribes of the lost sheep of Israel. Uh, you got some up? Oh yeah, right here. Now. Okay, kind of praise. All praises, all praises, right? So if, if if there's no questions, man, we definitely appreciate everybody that was tuned in. Um, to the pregame first episode, the water for everybody that was tuning in, that tuned in, you know, our faithful brothers and sisters that's on weekly. And then uh, if it was anybody new, the water for tuning in, the water for everybody that donated, uh, we definitely appreciate that. We definitely, we definitely appreciate all donations. And if you did donate, man, definitely come feast with us uh, and come enjoy the fellowship of the brotherhood and the sisterhood that we do have here at um, um, SOT. And if you go in the camp, remember what I said, man, by any means necessary, man, we got to do this work. We got to get up and let's do this work. Even if you ain't going out and teaching, go be around the camp. Go be around the brothers. If you ain't never been to camp, this should, this should motivate you to go to camp. Let me just go today. If you, if you ain't been to camp in a while and you ain't in one, let me just go. 
Let me get up. I ain't doing nothing. It's cold outside. I got a coat. Let's do it, man. Let's do it, right? So um, with that, I'm Brother Yaquab. Oh, so the Ahara. And I'm gonna let the um, I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up the um, the feast days real quick. I'm gonna bring us down. Uh, I'm gonna bring us down. <laughs>